Hi guys. Hey, hello. Well, uh, first of all, uh, glad you're, what, if you're watching this video, thank you. Uh, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so please disregard. Don't be too tough on the quality. <laughs> uh, however, I want to. I, I really like playing Oculus, and I want to go over these troubleshooting steps. Um, basically, I, I want to help you how to or show you how to submit a ticket. Um, basically, go over some of the troubleshooting steps. So basically, I was having that issue, you know, when that Oculus sensor cannot track the headset, something like that. Um, the troubleshooting steps didn't fix my issue. I'm going to be clear on that. They did not fix the issue. However, Oculus support was helping me like really a lot, a lot. So basically, they ended up giving me, giving me a refurbished headset uh for free my my oculus rift was out of warranty and they still gave me a new uh refurbished one and that one actually does work and it was for free you know so so you guys have to know how to submit the ticket how to do these troubleshooting steps because if you are one of those lucky people like me maybe maybe this is gonna help you and i guess the other reason is because i'm gonna be honest i am a systems engineer and, and for example, like I was, I was watching some people like pretending to be like software engineers in other YouTube uh, channels, basically asking you to hey update update the uh, USB drivers by doing this and that. Hey, you know what? Uh, those guys can make your computer crash or actually stop working, and and you're gonna have to reinstall Windows. And if you don't have another computer, it's going to be tough. So I really don't recommend you guys to do any of that. Your best bet is to is basically to, to submit a ticket and, and talk to Oculus directly. So basically, um, so, so initially I'm going to put a, a video description which shows the issue that you are looking for. But initially, well, at least for me, when I was trying to set up my Oculus uh, Rift, I was basically, uh, I was getting this, everything, the USB was recognized, uh, everything was recognized. And then basically, typically to set up the device, you have to set the Guardian and everything. Uh, you have to click on here on the, on, and it's gonna open a window. Uh, you will go to device setup. And, and basically when you were here, um, this will show also green, like it is detecting both this, the display and USB 3. But when you were here, the, the, you were having that issue, right? The issue looks something like, um, I guess like this, um, um, so not like this, um, like basically like this. This is how the issue looks. This, this freaking stupid stuff will never leave. Like, and basically what, what it will cause, you will put the headsets and you will only see three three dots. You could hear the desktop and like and I guess the virtual home sounds, but uh, that's it. You cannot set up. You cannot play anything. And there is more description in the video that I'm gonna post. So when that happened to me, I was like, "What the hell? Like this is not working at all. You know, it's not working at all." So what you what you guys are gonna do is basically, if you are having that issue, you are gonna go over here. Click on on, on 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 there, and you're gonna scroll all the way down, and press here Rift S support. So it's gonna open a link. Um, basically, you know you're having trouble. You already tried a lot of stuff. So you're just you're just gonna scroll a little more down, and it's gonna say uh, contact uh, contact us or get support. I think either will work. Uh, I'm gonna use contact uh, um, contact contact us. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And then when, once you click on that, you're gonna get this one. Submit a support ticket, it's a hyperlink. Um, just click on it. Um, and then I, I, sh I, I choose uh, email. And then over here is gonna uh, provide you like a, a, a set of different things that I may apply or may not. For In this case, it doesn't apply. So I put my question is an issue or not listed above. And then it's gonna basically over here you're gonna have to populate all your email, name, address, etc. Your the email you use for your uh, Oculus, your username. Over here is the important thing. Uh, so so for in this case it's Oculus Rift. The device you're gonna put the headset. Over here I only I only stated the sensors can track headset. Is basically the issue that appears on 
on, on your screen. Uh, over here, I typed as much as I could, basically the symptoms of the issue. Over here, you're gonna put no, and then um, what did you purchase? A uh, uh, third party. So at some point on, on this troubleshooting, they're gonna ask you for the invoice, uh, basically the receipt of when you bought it. So for me, like I was lucky that I had it because I bought it through Best Buy and I had it on my, e I, I, I got it sent to my email. So in my case, it was easy, but I, I don't know in your case, if, if you bought it cash or with a card and you didn't get a, a, a you don't have the copy, I don't know if they if they may make an issue, but at some uh, we'll go over that. Uh, over here, at attachments. So if you, you're gonna notice basically these this little sentence over here. So the next step uh, to all all reef troubleshooting, please provide the system logs. So you have to provide those system logs, and then uh, it's gonna tell you over here how to do it. So basically, you're gonna click Windows R, and then you're gonna. I guess you can copy and paste it. I oh, know, actually, sorry. Uh, don't do this. Uh, that's for the Oculus app only. You're gonna use this one on the bottom. So basically, you're just gonna go to the program files, Oculus, and then click on support and Oculus diagnostics, and then double click Oculus gatherer. So let me just do that really quick. And then, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to go fast because it's a lot of stuff, but uh, it should be easy. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oculus and then support and then diagnostics and then Oculus log gatherer. So you're gonna click this and then um, you can you can select like basically how many days. So I think I did it for like a week initially and then in the troubleshooting um, and they only asked me for one day log. But what this is gonna do once you click on it is gonna get gather all the log files and it's gonna create um, a stick folder which contains all those logs, and that one that you're gonna have to attach it. Uh, it's basically a zip file, and then you're gonna have to. Uh, how do I go back? Um, you're just gonna attach it over here. So once you submit it, they're gonna reach you in email, but via email. Uh, so when that happened, when they when they when they reach me via email, they say, "Hey, thank you for the logs. They gave me, I, I guess." Those logs are gonna show information about your computer. In my case, they stated that uh, my, my um, um, basically over here, they stated try to um, move the, the, the cable and the headset, make sure they're not bent or broken. So none of that applied to me, but I still try to unplug it and replug it. So basically what that meant to me is was look at this cable uh, if if actually there is a way over here, there is like a pin inside that uh, you can remove the headset and then it's gonna give you room in order to remove this, um, this cable and connect it and reconnect it. Uh, it's very hard to remove uh, and then it has to click. But uh, basically that's what it meant to me. The second thing is gonna, for example, in my case, I had an NVIDIA uh, graphics card and it was not up to date. So they provided me a link, and basically the link, uh, at some point, you're gonna have to open an account, which is for free. They're not gonna charge you anything. And basically, um, it's gonna provide you like, um, it basically just gets uh, all the information about your computer. And in order to, to, to see if your driver is up to date, you're gonna go here in drivers, and then check for updates. If there is something new, Oculus is really going to want you to have the newest one. So in my case, this one was the latest one. Uh, so pretty much, um, you're just going to follow that link, create an account, uh, download that app, which is for free. And then it's always going to ask you like if, 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 if you want new drivers in the future. So that one is very easy. But uh, so I did that. The other thing is disable Windows Defender. So how to do that? You're just gonna click here on Windows and then you're, you're gonna get this pop-up. Over here to the left, you're gonna get a turn off Windows Defender. So like over here is gonna appear, I guess these, these, um, these um, um, you can um, basically whatever settings you want. So like just turn it off, just click on the um, turn off. 
um, okay, reboot your computer. So you don't have to do that yet, just yet, but you will have to. Um, con try connecting different headsets. So my, my computer has like six different USB ports. I tried all of them and it didn't work. By the way, it was previously working fine for the past two month, two years, and it stopped working. If the six one, six troubleshooting step, try another headset, he uh, headset on another computer if possible. So like none of these worked for me. And then I told them, hey, nothing works for me. And then Oculus said, okay, uh, provide me all of this information, the order number and the invoice number. Basically, basically, I showed them the um, a screenshot of my receipt from Best Buy. Uh, I guess they just want to know who bought it. The box serial number. So the box serial number is going to be located on the original box and is going to be pretty much on one of the corners, uh, which is right there. Um, the then then basically your 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 email that you use to pay for Oculus your Oculus alias, your actual name, street, and directions, phone number, etc. Um, so when I provided them all of that, uh, one, so one of the Oculus support guys, they just replied, and I guess it was over the holiday. But once I came back, uh, there was another guy who provided more, um, who provided more instructions for all chilling steps. And if it was too small, don't worry, I'm going to try to attach it, attach it or just contact me and I'll, I can provide you like these troubleshooting steps. But uh, pretty much what this guy said, uh, there was, um, I believe he wanted me to do a little more. So what he, in, in, in short, basically, he wanted me to remove Oculus, turn off uh, Microsoft Defender, um, any antivirus. So pretty much he said disable the Windows Micro Microsoft Defender and uninstall any antivirus. So I already did that. Uh, he said, I reboot your computer, disconnect from the internet. So you guys know how to disconnect from the internet. And then basically back up anything necessary. So reboot into save mode. So what you have to do is uh, basically um, use the configuration tool um, or configuration management tool actually. So you're gonna click on the Windows, Windows key plus R and then you're gonna type msconfig, and then you're gonna get some, something like this, right? You're gonna click here, save boot, and, and basically apply. So after that, you're gonna click restart, and then um, basically you are gonna go into save mode, and when, when you're in save mode, basically you, you just have to do a regular login, but everything, all your screen is black, right? You're gonna be off of the internet, so what you're gonna have to go go do over there is basically um, delete delete um, all the Oculus files. Um, so so I believe that's what they're gonna ask you to do. Um, uh huh. Uninstalled and then delete everything. And then I guess the only the only tricky one is gonna have be you have to go to another um, folder which is gonna be the users folder. Uh, where is it? Here, in Windows, and then users, and if, if there was nothing for me here, so I didn't have to delete anything. So like, just follow these. Uh, after you are done with that, basically you are gonna um, do the same uh, step, but uh, this time you're gonna unclick that save on save put, and then you're gonna restart and then login back in normal. You're going to turn on the internet again, and then you have to reinstall uh, Oculus. And I think uh, you guys know how to do that. So, so those are the steps. But I follow everything, and it didn't work. So like what, what a new guy a new guy wanted me to do is basically get the um, um, more logs, basically. So, so that step, we already went over it. But uh, I sent them the, the logs for one day and I, it still didn't work. So like, it's basically just a zip file. I told them what happened. And um, in this occasion, by the time that I sent them that, uh, they noticed that uh, my NVIDIA drivers were out of date again. So I, I just went back again over here, check for drivers. I click on in, uh, install them. I show them the logs after everything was installed and then 
um, I guess I guess um, they at this point they also ask me for pictures and I send them pictures. Uh, so one one of the things that I recommend you guys, whenever you send the pictures, give it a clean, give your Oculus a clean. Uh, basically, make sure the wires look okay because I think that's what they wanna see. They wanna see if your Oculus like is in a good shape because I, I guess if if it is in a bad shape, they're gonna blame it on that. But uh, if it looks like a device that uh, was well taken care of, most likely, like they they they're gonna say no. Like uh, I guess it was our issue because I think the overall issue with this error it is on on a firm uh, firm firmware basically. I'm gonna go over it, that in at the end. Almost there, guys. So basically, when I provided the pictures, I reinstalled the drivers or updated them and provided the pictures. Uh, the issue didn't go. And I guess that's when they gave up and basically they told me I was going to get a refurbished Oculus. So so basically they're going to provide you like um, a prepaid um, FedEx, FedEx, uh, how do you call those things, um, a, chi a cheaper. So, so you're going to get a cheaper for free uh, from FedEx and basically uh, you just have to print it, put your old device along with the cable. The con not the controllers, just the, just the headset and the cable, put them in a box, ship it to them. So it's going to take like a week and then they're going to send you like a new Oculus. So pretty much this is what I did, guys. Um, and basically now they did provide me a new a, a refurbished one and it works. So I'm going to, these letters were maybe very small. Uh, so I'm going to attach this document just in case you want, you want to go through it. But uh, basically, I really recommend you guys just to, to go and submit a ticket. Don't go by, I guess I'm, I'm biting my own um, mouth, right? Um, don't listen to people. Just go to the, the, the actual uh, Reef support. They were very kind to me. And like I said, my, my device was, was out, of, uh, out, of day, uh, out of warranty and they still gave me a new one. So that was pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, like some of these troubleshooting steps fix your issue, but if not, hopefully they also give you like a device. And then I guess the, um, going back to this, um, this um, the original issue, which is this. So what I'm starting to think, just think about this. So like I said, it was very kind for them to to provide me a refurbished one and that actually works. But what I think probably happened is that um, maybe maybe during the life of the Oculus Rift, there was an electronic inside of it uh, that, that was used on it and it was no longer available. So they have to redesign it out. And there are some serial numbers that uh, don't have something new. And basically maybe, maybe that redesign of the Oculus caused a firmware, uh, firmware update. So, so they, may, maybe there was a change in the software or something driven by the, by the new device that no longer works with older serial numbers. So I think maybe, maybe that's why they are willing to provide us a refurbished one for free, even if we're out of warranty. So I think that's maybe the reason. The other reason that I think that is the case is because when I receive the new device, uh, it, it basically when you connect it, it's gonna ask you for a firmware update, right? So I think I think that's the main issue, you know. And and I think I hope that uh, this was helpful for you. And I think that's pretty much it. And just to prove you that uh, they did provide, they provided me the new one. They provided me like in this box, and they're just gonna provide you the cable. And basically, and basically that's it. Well, I hope you guys, I hope, I hope this helps you guys and take care.